I'm in a super duper fall mood and I kind of went crazy with the fall decor. I'm not even going to tell y'all that it is still summer and it's very hot outside in Georgia, but I'm feeling like fall already. So it's fall. Okay. Look, I have on my favorite tartan button down and this shirt sure, is actually like made of wool so it's very warm and I wear this all throughout the fall as one of my favorite shirts I've had it for like two or three years and it was thrifted but when I tell y'all this is like my favorite shirt ever it's my fave so see look at it all right I love the color I can wear it with leggings I can wear it with jeans okay get y'all some tartan button downs all right found it in the men's section anyway Okay, so today I'm just going to talk a little bit about some of the things that I got for the fall. My intention behind getting all of this stuff is that, number one, I'm going to decorate my porch. So deck the porch. I'm going to show y'all that once I do that. Uh, I'm going to decorate the bathrooms in the house, the guest bathrooms. When you first walk into the house, there's like a little foyer area. I'm gonna decorate the stairs and just infuse fall throughout the home. It's not that hard. Some places that you can go to are the Dollar Tree. Let's start at the Dollar Tree because that's where I started, okay? So the Dollar Tree has all of this stuff. These are pumpkins. Look at these pumpkins. These are nice. They're like velvet or something. Velvet. They have these small little bales of hay. I don't know what I'm going to do with them yet, but I mean, it's fall, so might as well. Some of these floor, well, all of these florals came from the Dollar Tree, so they were all a dollar. I spent about $30 at the Dollar Tree. Let me see. I have my receipt here. I spent $30 at the Dollar Tree on fall stuff, and then Joann's also had a sale where there was like 60% off of all the fall stuff, so look at this huge oversized mug I got. This mug, uh, it says, fall is my favorite color. <laughs> look, 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 this is so Instagrammable. Okay, anyway, <laughs> so... This mug, I'm going to be sipping my tea on the deck with that crisp morning air. I posted this on my Insta when I first got it, and I said that it was a squirrel, but one of my friends told me it's actually a fox. What do y'all think? I think it's a fox. See, these little woodland creatures are always so tricky, but it's so cute. I ended up spending $50 at Joann's. The regular price of this squirrel fox was $19.99. So it was, uh, well, no, this was 50% off. So it came up to $9.99. This, I'm going to probably make a wreath with this ribbon. It's decorative mesh, actually. So I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it yet, but it's going to come in handy. These pine cones, I can actually use these for the fall and the winter when I start to decorate for like Christmas and all of the holidays. So these were on sale for I think $7.99. They're scented pine cones, so they smell so good. They smell like autumn. And I have had these in my house for about uh, two weeks now, maybe a week or two. And for the first, like they, they still smell so vibrant. But for the first week and a half, when I first got these pine cones, it scented up the whole entire downstairs. So when you walked in the house, you smelled fall. I mean, even though we're straight up in August, <laughs> you know, I'm ready for the fall. Okay, 2020, y'all know how 2020 been. The quicker we get to fall, then we get to winter, then we get to New Year's, and then we in a new year, so we should be home free, okay? Look at this basket. It is so cute. 
So for the basket, I'm going to more than likely put this out on my porch and I'm probably going to put something underneath it to kind of build that height up and then put the decorative mesh there and then stack some little pumpkins or squash or something along those lines in this basket. So you never know. That's why like when you're going fall shopping, just get a whole bunch of you don't get useless stuff, but if you know you have a lot of areas in your home that you can integrate the fall, then get the fall stuff. Get little pieces, get your florals, get your fauna, and get little things to accent the home. I've had this candle for about two weeks, and as you can see, look at the back of this candle. The candle is like halfway burnt. I keep this in my guest bathroom because it is, it, it smells so good. It's called Spiced Orange. I got this candle from Ollie's, which is a discount store. And it was probably about, I think I paid $3.99 for it. Four dollars for this huge 13 ounce candle. And it really smells like fall. I keep it in my guest bathroom, but it actually smells up the whole entire downstairs when I have it lit. And I light my candles. I keep them lit for hours and hours and it's still a lot left in there. For a richly scented candle, go to the discount stores. They usually have them for half the price anyway. Now, sometimes you crap out because you go to Walmart and you get these candles and they seem like a good value, but you light them up and you can barely smell them. So I will tell you, this brand is called Aromance. I've never heard of it, I don't know, but this Aromance candle in spice orange really smells like fall. It's richly scented and I love it. And I also love that it has this top. Like when I smell this y'all, I just feel so cozy inside. Y'all know, if y'all love fall, you know the feeling. I also got these little jars were already laying around the house, so this is no money. But if you don't have these little vases already, they're a dollar at the Dollar Tree, like this one, okay? So, just for a little idea, I'm going, and look, this, this was from the Dollar Tree. This was $1 at the Dollar Tree. This is a sign, um, it can go anywhere. I'm probably gonna put it on my stairs or something. I might even sit it on one of the baskets. I'm not sure yet, but it's good to have. Also, this yard sign was at the Dollar Tree. For $1, it says Happy Harvest. They have all kinds of sayings there. This one, friends gather here, I love it. This was also a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So look at all of this stuff. Like why spend an arm and a leg for something when you can get a good value for it? So I got a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm probably gonna make a wreath. That was my intention for getting all of these florals was to make a wreath and this is actually a frame. I might, if I decide to do it, I'll make a separate video of how I make an easy fall floral wreath. Wreath, sorry y'all, wreath. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna show you guys really quickly, these are just little styling suggestions for you. I'm gonna show you how to make a nice little arrangement. I mean, it's so simple. You don't even have to be crafty to, to do it. It just, it's, it's super simple. This right here is a bag of glitter vase fillers. And of course you see they're in fall colors of green and orange. Also, when you're decorating, try to stay in the, in the same color scheme and tonal family because you want all of your, your entire house to pull together. Now, I mean, that's not hard, especially when you're doing fall because typically everything is in this whole green, natural earth tone green, red, burnt orange, rich browns, that kind of color scheme. Like just think colors of nature in the fall and you can't go wrong. I like to sit my arrangements in the guest bathroom, by the front door. It could be on your coffee table. 
it could be in your bathroom, it could be anywhere. This is, we're infusing fall throughout the home.